Welcome back Minecraft fans, this is PunkD76 and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on this my Iron Farm Villager Trader as you can see we have it's an, an iron farm uh, the iron, uh, iron golems can spawn on the top or in the middle and will fall down into the lava uh, there we have one there where we got a lava and we got uh, campfires to cook, uh, kill them to collect the iron in here we also get uh, cats so we will get string and we get the poppies as well and then as a bonus we've got villager trading we can use any uh, workstations we want the villager traders will not detract from because they're in the water will stay connected to their workstations and yeah there we go so we've got a combination trading hall and iron farm let's get into the tutorial okay so let's get into the build this is all the items you're going to need you are going to need lots of water so build yourself a water source uh, nearby because you're going to need plenty of water you're going to need some villagers so you're going to need 20 villagers to build uh, a villager breeder and we're going to need 20 workstations of your choice. Uh, I've gone for lecterns at the moment. But yes, this is the, the items we're going to need. I will put a list in the description. So either pause the video to get these items or have a look at the description. There we go. Right, so starting, place a double chest. Make sure you've got, you're, you're going to build this. There needs to be no village related items within 100 blocks. So no workstations, no other villages, no beds, no anything. So make sure you are miles away from anywhere in a nice open space. So double chest. We need nine hoppers in a square aiming into it. So do two rows of three aiming in and then the last row of three can go in the side of those ones. Easy enough. Uh, next we are going to need campfires so crouch in place and place a campfire on top of each of those hoppers okay we're going to need our building blocks and we're going to need our glass so building blocks we need to surround this uh, little area you could, I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd, it's not necessarily to fill, it, fill in the corners, but we're going to need to go three high with glass all the way round. This is our little catchment killing area. Okay, this is going to be a, bit, a little bit tricky to see. With our signs, we are going to place signs on the uh, glass at the front or on the other side. Let me jump around here, you might be able to see them. So yeah, there's the, the three signs there. Coming back around, we now need to place three signs into those signs. So try and get your aim on them, place a sign, and it should, you should end up with three signs in the middle it's kind of floating and then do the same again three signs in the front of those ones so there you go you got three signs uh, nine signs in a in the area in the middle surround this with blocks so put blocks on the top then take your bucket of lava and place it in the middle so Try and aim at the, the middle sign. Place your bucket of lava so it goes in the middle and it will spread out onto all areas. So that is that. Now we need to build the uh, spawning area. So on one side, take the middle block and count out a further seven from there. So, um, a, yeah, it's a total of eight. So one, two, three, three, four, five, 
five, six, seven, eight. We need to do this on all sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do that on all four sides and then fill in the whole area. Okay, so now we have this area all uh, blocked out. Come into the middle. One, two, three. And create a uh, an area. Go around the hole. So it's, it's, yeah, it's, you're creating a loop around the hole in the middle. Okay. So it should be, yeah, five by five uh, round. And then double the thickness of this. One thing I forgot to uh, put in the item description, we do in the list is uh, we need beds. Right, so now we got our beds. We need need to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Repeat this on the other side. And then three on the sides. When you place your first bed, I would I, I would go for the middle one first and then go round. The rest it doesn't really matter, but the first one, try and put it on the middle rather than on the corner, because that creates that first bed is the center of your village come down and we can remove these blocks okay now on the corners we need to go three on all corners Then around the outside, we need to uh, create a loop going right the way around. Go away, bat. There we go. And we need to make take this up by three. So total of four right now you've done that you need to get your water come down on the inside and you need to go along um, all the blocks on this edge Not that one. So make sure you don't you only get the water along the edge. And then one on each corner. And you should end up with that. Okay, coming up, we can now, you'll have to crouch and place on the bed. We need to create a loop around the, uh, the hole again. Okay, so you have that uh, design there. And now we need to take these all the way out. to the end wall so basically go yeah all the way out um creating another platform
Okay, so now you've uh, created this box. We need to go on these edges. Three. Three. And create this little kind of um, shape like this. Getting your half slabs. Place half slabs on top of those. Now go along the edge, place half slabs, too far, and then the last three do solid blocks with blocks in the middle, uh, creating the, again that sort of shape, half slab on those, half slab on those, and you need to repeat this on all sides. Okay. Now we have uh, that set up done, we need to get our water and we need to again go round the edge placing water um, on this level. And then we need to place water, if I can get that, on each corner. That's that. So that is all the spawning areas ready for our um, iron golems to fall in. Right, so we now need to make the cells for the villagers. So find the central line. Put three glass out removing that one at the back because we don't need it not there one two then place on this bottom edge five in a row that is going to be where the villagers are going to stand place two on the ends do the same the other side five two on the end now place a row of five here five glass and again that side we now need um, to place temporary blocks along the front of these and place a trap door on the underside of each of those temporary blocks okay and then we can remove those We now need to place, come out by two, place a row of temporary blocks here. We can move those N2. And this is where we need the sticky pistons. If you only have the one sticky piston, just use one, that's fine. But if you have more, you can place uh, sticky pistons all the way along. If you've got more, uh, you don't need this one. But yeah, if you've only got the one, just place the one. Place a lever. Flick the lever to basically get to the glass, pull the glass back out the way, and then use your whatever means you've got to get your villagers uh, round, um, uh, use a minecart or whatever to get the villagers up and get them into each of these slots. Okay, so I'll show you with the villager egg. So I get my first villager, he will spawn into there. They must be worker villagers. So nitwits and uh, baby villagers will not work. So you must have normal villagers. Once you've got the first one in, flick the lever, get him back. You can break that and then go to the next one. Place the lever. Do that. Villager in. Glass back. Okay. And just do that all the way along. Okay, so we now have all our villagers in place. We can now go along 
remove all these pistons, these slabs, and now we need to place a row of glass on top of the half slabs. Okay, come up top, we want a row of slabs. I have none in my inventory for some reason. Place a row of slabs across the top uh, of your villagers and then come down here. You want to, underneath this glass, So you need to come come down underneath this glass, place a solid block, half slab on the uh, bottom half slab, two on there, remove that block and create yourself a, uh, a little platform. And this you can have a ladder up to it or stairs or whatever, however you want to do it within your design. This block can get removed. Then what you need to do is get your water and on these blocks, you need to place water on each one. Okay? This water is very important. When the villagers are in water, they will not separate from their workstations. That's it. They're, they're, they're in there. Um, they won't move. I've done that. Hmm. That's it, so the villagers are now in. If you come along, place a, a second row of half slabs above that glass. I can actually go on the end there, finish that off, make that a little bit better. Right, we need to remove these glass blocks here in front of the villagers because this is where the workstations are going to go. So, this is the tricky part. We need to place a workstation. See who, there we go, see who uh, lines up with it, break it, place the workstation in front of that villager. Need to repeat this, so he's dead again, this guy is down at this end. Need to do this for all the villagers. Right, so when you've got all your villagers in, uh, they now have all their lecterns in front, you can come along, you can trade with them underneath here. If you don't like what the trades are, you can remove the lectern, replace it, and he will refresh and give you a different set of trades. Hopefully. Oh, he's changing the set, he's, for some reason the first one's not changing. No, he just wants to give us... Uh, A bookcase. Oh, damn it! I really didn't mean to do that. Just needs to place up there. There we go. So eventually, um, you go through them all. You can get them to trade. In change into whichever trades you want them to trade into. Once you've done that, repeat the process on a second side.
So there we go. We have our two sets of villagers done there. As you can see, we're getting iron golems around the top. Occasionally you will get them spawn here, but because they're on the top here, they will walk into the water eventually and go in um, and fall down. You will... There we go. Uh, down underneath, they will obviously uh, burn in the lava and on the campfires. We will get some cats in here as well to produce string. So we're going to get iron, uh, poppies, we're going to get string, and we're going to get all the trades that we want. Um, so you can come around here and trade. Uh, they won't, they will stay connected to their beds and their workstations because they're in the water. And there you go. That is our Iron Farm Villager Trader done. So, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Please hit the like button and the subscribe button. It would massively, massively help out the channel. Please check out my series I do with Junior, a 20 minute Minecraft, where basically we, we play for 20 minutes and we have a laugh and we put out the videos. Please hit me up in the comments, let me know what you think of this and let me know if you built it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Cheers guys, bye bye.